Hey YouTubers, it's Zach with uh, Tevis Architects. I'm out here on site of our Trace Forest uh, edition. Um, this is lot one where I'm at right now. And you can see we've had our excavators out here this week. Uh, that giant, there we go, that giant dirt pile there um, is the result of our excavation for our house one. Uh, when you're an architect, you get excited anytime you see a big pile of dirt. So I'm gonna go show you what we've started at today. All right, so coming up to our site, um, you can see that we've got quite a bit of grade change here between our cul-de-sac at the bottom and uh, where our driveway is going to be. So uh, we had our excavator bring in a couple of these uh, twos and fours, these big heavy-duty rocks in here so we can start to kind of get our driveway poured in. Um, this is really important because we want to limit the, the slope on these. We don't want this to be... Uh, a treacherous hill when we get our snow and ice out here in Kansas. So uh, we've kept this a real nice gentle grade, a really easy drive up. Um, and when we top out at the, the very, very top of the site here, you'll see just how far up um, this beautiful lot goes. So one of the challenges that uh, we dealt with with this site was our grade differences. Um, it really necessitated that every house that's out here be custom designed uh, just for that site, just for that lot. Um, to make sure that everything works. So uh, here you can see we've got our preliminary excavation kind of outlined. Um, this raised unexcavated area up here, this is our garage. Um, and then moving down, we've got kind of our block out for where our entry porch and patio is gonna be. Um, and then the main, the main hole there uh, is for our basement slab. Um, so you can see we've got all of our final grading done. Um, our concrete uh, contractor was out today. They've got all the corners pinned and marked and they got all their lines strung. Um, so I do believe they're going to start laying out footings probably tomorrow. Um, I'm guessing they'll probably pour yeah, around the end of the day tomorrow. So this is, uh, this is a culmination of a, a lot of work over many, many months. So it's kind of excited to uh, finally see stuff stuff moving out here So I wanted to take a few minutes just to talk about kind of everything that goes into getting to this point where we've got a, a hole dug and we're, we're getting ready to start construction. So When we began this project we started about six months ago and At the beginning of that was a, a long drawn-out kind of schematic phase um, but the first thing that we started with were our our property, our, our beautiful lots that are out here. Um, we have eight different parcels of land in this Trace Forest edition, and all eight of these houses are gonna be net zero homes. So if you don't know what net zero is, uh, it's a, a rating system. Um, I'm sure you probably heard of LEED, you might have even heard of Passive Solar, um, but net zero is basically a, a home that costs you nothing to run, that your, your monthly energy bills are zero. So. Uh, that's where we started and looking at, at our lots and kind of this new idea, this new concept for uh, a sustainable neighborhood. So I ran over here to uh, lot two um, just because this is kind of one of the high points of the site. Um, you really get a, an awesome view of just what Trace Forest is. Um, you see that beautiful Kansas sunset setting over to the west there. Um, I also wanted to talk about these dirt piles. Um, I mentioned earlier, you know, architects get excited every time we see a dirt pile, but um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the trees. Uh, you see that we still have an awful lot of trees on this site, uh, which is not typical for your average uh, construction project. So in, in this lot, you can really see um, this little pile right here. Um, those are the only trees that we removed from this lot. We've really made an effort to try to work around the existing grades, um, to try to preserve the landscape wherever we can. Um, when we finish these houses, we really want, you know, people to feel like they've they've been here, uh, they've they've always been here, they belong here. Um, and so we've we've really made an effort to try to preserve a lot of the perimeter landscaping and to try to work with the the kind of hills and valleys and existing grades in the landscape. 